Hello, hello everyone, and good afternoon. I hope you guys are doing well. So it's Irina popping on here. I've been working in my office most of the day, and I'm getting to that point in the afternoon where chocolate sounds inviting, or another cup of coffee maybe to get energy going, but I realize it's probably better to sneak in some yoga, especially because my mid-back is really aching right now. Not sure if it's because of all that sitting at the computer time or something else. But I'm just here in my office, my books, my computer, my poor little sad computer over here that's not working. So, all right, here's what I'm going to do. So feel free to play along with me. I'm going to try this landscape vision for the uh, iPhone, and hopefully it'll work and you can see me. So midday, I'm feeling tight and achy through my mid-back. So I just decide, oh, I'll take a break. Instead of going for the caffeine or the coffee, oh, I'm going to do these moves to help release the tension in my upper back, let go of the fatigue, that foggy brain that can sometimes hit in the afternoon. Back and forth, working with the back. Good. And from the table, I just soften between the shoulder blades and a downward dog sounds delicious right now to really lengthen and open up the spine and the legs. Now I'm playing on carpet here. So you can see I haven't even put down a sticky mat, or maybe you can't see, but you don't need anything too fancy. I'm still in my clothes. No yoga clothes on today. Just working at my desk. Good. And then back to table. A little harder to do in a suit, but possible. Good. And already mid-back starts to feel more open. Good. And then from table, a nice little twist sounds inviting. Twists are wonderful to get into that mid-back area when you're very, very tight. Sometimes even between the shoulder blades. But you want to make sure this right shoulder, you keep the head of the arm bone back. And then you can place your right hand either on the hip, mid-back, or wrapping towards the outer left hip. But don't let that shoulder come forward. If it does, slide your hand back towards your hip. Ah, oh, such a nice stretch. Good. And then we slowly unwind and we switch sides. Make sure I don't flash you. <laughs> and we thread the needle. So hand to hip, mid back, or towards the outer hip. We're keeping the outer right hip tucked back. Oh, and this feels so good across mid-back, upper back. Fatigue is leaving. Oh, and then back to center. Another downward dog to just release after the twist. Hmm. Strength poses are great to wake you up as well. So I'm going to just slide my feet back so I can come into plank. And I don't have a lot of room here. My desk is right behind my feet and my bookcase by my head. And I come for a thigh stretch. Now thigh stretches, you can do them in a variety of different ways, from lunges to low, high lunges, low lunges, this frog pose. I'm doing an advanced version because I want a nice shoulder stretch. I've been doing a lot of um, Facebook work on my phone, which is silly, I should use my computer, but I've also been trying to navigate without my Mac working. So this feels really good. It helps release my tight lower back, my tight shoulders, and that texting neck that we can sometimes get from looking down for too long. Oh, and we have a nice summer storm coming in. Maybe you hear it. And I'll release my foot. One more downward dog. Mm -hmm. And then I slowly release. And I'll hop back into my work. Oh, hello. It looks like I might have a friend. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Hopefully I wasn't sideways in this worked landscape. But, oh my gosh, already I feel energized. I feel boosted, ready to take on the day, the rest of it, <laughs> what's left. And, yeah, that's what I do in the middle of the day. So, if you'd ever like to try it, sneak in, stop, drop in yoga, and let me know. Otherwise, I'll be continuing to pop up doing my little practices and sharing them with you as we go along. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! <laughs>